Hello everyone, welcome to Dive the Planet. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about the Imperial Japanese Navy ship, the Arako. The Arako was a Mashima-class refrigeration supply ship. She was built at the Kawasaki shipyard in Kobe, Japan, and completed on the 5th of December, 1941. The Arako had the capability of feeding 25,000 troops for 14 days. Her main purpose was to supplement the Imperial Japanese Navy Fleet's only existing food supply ship, the Mamiya. The Arako was very well equipped for the time period. Her facilities included freezers and ice machines and areas that were used for the preparation of tofu, ice cream, candies, pastries, and they even had a pickling room. What I think is really cool is they included areas for producing ramune, which is a citrusy carbonated soft drink similar to Sprite. They even used the traditional cob bottle with a marble on the neck to keep the carbonation in. Sadly, the Remune processing rooms are in an area of the wreck that has already collapsed. I've been searching for an entrance to get in there for a while now. For anyone that has already dove the Araco, the room often referred to as the kitchen area or the big rice cookers is a room for making confections. What look like pots are actually big mixing bowls. The Araco was originally planned to be a diesel powered vessel. But with all of the refrigeration units, a substantial auxiliary boiler would have been required as well. So it was changed to heavy oil and coal-fired boilers. Interestingly enough, fist-sized pieces of coal can still be found in a room near the bow section. Because of the change in engines, the Japanese also had to make several adjustments to the chimney. They ended up increasing the chimney's diameter and height to prevent the soot from mixing in with and contaminating the food that was being prepared on board. While the Arako's primary duty was transporting food stores to the troops, she was also used as a backup communications vessel as she was fitted with special long and shortwave radios. And at times, she was also used for troop transport, munitions transport, and for making Pacific survey missions. The Araka was sunk on the 24th of September, 1944, in Koron Bay, and now rests almost upright in 45 meters of seawater. She's an awesome wreck to dive, but due to her depth, she's not suitable for beginners. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit about the Araka. Please check back again soon for new videos, or better yet, hit subscribe and I'll come to you.